Well, welcome back to another C10 episode. This has got to be the final episode. It literally has to. We are gonna figure out why this truck is wheel hopping. Well, we're gonna hope to figure out why the truck is wheel hopping. We're going to figure out why it's I wheel I mean, hopping. eventually we are. So this episode could be, look, you guys might just need to get popcorn, put your friggin' M&Ms in it, buy pizza. I don't give a shit. It's, it's, we, we got a laundry list of stuff that we're going to try to do on this thing, and, and it's got my head hurting. I mean, we're not engineers. Actually, we, we don't even know how to spell engineer. <laughs> so we're going through every redneck way to make this badass truck not wheel hop so we can do a stupid smoke show. We should be just happy just to go drive it. I know. Well, so that, that's just it. it. This could be a short episode or a long, but we have some stuff that we're gonna show you guys, um, some some ideas that all you guys have actually commented on our YouTube episodes, and we're trying them all. So at the end of the day, we will know. Unless one on. happens quick. Unless the first thing we do happens quick, and then we're just gonna burn off all the tires. Yeah, so the one of the biggest things, and we've made so many changes, so, we have a few people saying, look, you don't have enough weight back there. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start adding sandbags to the, to the top of the truck. I know that sounds funny and it's going to look funny, but we're going to add sandbags first, right? Okay. And if the sandbags work, then we're good. Yeah. Then the episode's Done. over. You don't need just, popcorn. Why don't we just start with that? Let's well, just, no, no. Let's just start with sandbags. We don't need to talk about the rest if it works. All right. Let's put sandbags on it. So what we have is we have 500 pounds <laughs> of multi-purpose <laughs> sand. And we're going to set this board that re, we uh, pre-cut. And uh, we're going to find out if the weight is actually going to fix the truck or not. And if it does, then we're going to be just stoked. If, if it does, we're going to figure out maybe some type of lead or... I know they make some really high dense materials that we could add back here, but we'll just see if this works. We'll put these on, go outside, and then uh, let's we'll just do a burnout and see what what happens. Jump in there, kid. Okay, so each one is what fifty? Fifty pounds. So there's fifty. I say we just start with about two hundred pounds. <laughs> It didn't even squat the suspension. So the other issue we kind of have right now is it's full on raining outside. So we're just gonna try it anyway. <laughs> we're gonna let the truck warm up. It's kind of rained a little bit, which I wish it didn't. It changes the surface, but uh, we're just gonna take it out anyway and see what we come up with. The other thing I keep hearing is, why is you keep having your dad drive? Well, the honest truth is, he has more seat time in the truck, and I've been I've been on the outside watching, trying to figure out what's happening, and he's so used to driving the truck, there's no sense of changing what he's already learned about the truck, so we're just gonna continue having him drive. But hopefully, in the best case scenario, this works. What worries me is it didn't even collapse the suspension when we put that weight on there. All right, Pop, first test. We got 300 pounds of weight back there. off and and sit right now the weights even with evenly on both are all four axles uh -huh. so let's make the rear axle light so there's nothing on it mm -hmm. and then we'll make the front axle take all the weight so the back axle is just kind of floating floating okay because if that rear axle is hooking up more than the front axle it's gonna like try and turn and stuff so the i think the, the weight, weight did nothing you don't think I mean, obviously it's kind of hard because we're on like a, like a wet surface right now, but it, you could still see it pretty big time. So what, we're gonna pull it back in and we're just gonna make that rear axle basically so it just floats. We're gonna, what? I'd rather let it float without any weight on it and then add weight to okay. it. Okay. Because it could 
be that that rear axle is hooking up more than the front axle, which is making the front diff push and pull, and maybe that's what's making that thing okay. start. Okay, well, let's back it in and try that. The weight didn't, didn't fix it. <laughs> that was good. You gotta keep in mind, there's so much horsepower that's just wrapping through all these these moving parts from one rear end to the other. So we'll just see what happens. The other thing we're doing is we're trying to minimize the times we actually do burnouts and it's not right because it's literally a matter of time before something breaks. So doing little burnouts, I actually don't mind that it's, it's wet out there because it, it does serve a little purpose of, of being easier on the parts a little bit. So what we're doing here is the, the hydraulic, it fills with fluid and presses the hydraulic cylinder out to set the ride height. And so what we're doing is we're gonna take all the hydraulic fluid out of it and make it just a dummy. So this rear axle is just gonna float. So if this tire heats up, it ain't gonna transfer to the front tire. It's almost like we're taking the tires off and just running the front tire. So we want to see if that thing gets radical without the having the pressure of the rear tire heating up with the same pressure as this tire, and maybe they're fighting each other. So if this does work, then what we'll do is we'll put it back the way it was, but we'll take the rear spring, and right now all four springs are 700s. Maybe we take the rear spring and make it a 200. So it's very light. So all the grip is here, and this is minimal grip. Sounds good, huh, Brad? Oh, do you need another? <laughs> I don't even in? know. I understood what you just said. <laughs> this is how light the rear end is. So now we're making, so this is just becomes a floater. That's pretty light. It could it could have a, a negative effect too. It could freaking bounce out and go through the back up. of the cab. That's right. I'm scared. <laughs> hey, we're gonna just keep trying. That did it. How did that do it? Well, literally, that's night and day. It didn't, did it hop at all? I, I didn't, didn't feel nothing. I didn't see it hop one time. <laughs> Dude, hey, those tires smell good. Okay, so. It, oh my gosh! It did it. So we gotta keep. Okay. We gotta, we gotta keep the weight off of the rear tires. I still see the smoke coming off the rear, so. Well, they're going to smoke because they're just, instead of having all the weight onto the tire, it's distributing the weight on this, and it's not making this force this, which grabs this, pulls this, yanks that, up here, down there, rotate. Stop. <laughs> I think that worked. No, it worked. <laughs> that worked. You almost hit your truck. This makes my head hurt because I'm thinking... Those rear tires are trying to push the front tires, trying to take that rear end in the front, twist it up, up, down, up, down, up, down, Sally, it is working, yeah! <laughs> oh yeah, here's where you get excited. Does it get smoky? Oh, you couldn't see crap. Why don't we go to a leave the 700 on here, and I think we should go to a 200 here and leave the hydraulics hooked up. Well, we don't that have was... a 200 pound rate. I know, dipshit. Not right this <laughs> second. Why would you call yourself that? I'm just saying because so if and we it want, works now. if we want all four hydraulics to work the exact same, which would probably be better, 
if they have a 200 pound string, we go from a 700 to do a 200, and then that way this front axle is still taking all the weight, but we still have a little bit in the rear, so it has that downward force, so we, we can still launch. Basically, to dumb it down real quick, because me and my dad are starting to get technical, is we took all the weight off the rear axle when it's on the front. Well, not all the weight. There's still weight on this. I mean, it was still smoking. But what he's saying now is why don't we get a very light spring ratio in the rear of the truck so that the very farthest axle, so it still has weight down because we want to still spin this tire <laughs> and get all the smoke off that. But here's, here's all I know. That's what I just said. Oh, no, you went crazy with ratios and stuff. Here's all I know. This is probably the first positive thing that has happened sin since we started doing burnout. So I am just so beyond just excited that we finally got somewhere. I literally thought that this was going to be a long day. And I think this is like just a celebration. So I I'm just, I'm just excited. I Man, Pops, we jacked this thing up. It's going to take you all weekend to clean it. Uh, let's go. Let's run over to Mike's because he's got more grip on the concrete. And then that'll be the do all. If it friggin' doesn't shake, rattle, roll, and get violently crazy, then it's fixed. So basically, what we're gonna do for you guys and is for me, for all of us, we're gonna end this thing. And we're not stopping until the tires are gone. These Michelins, they look beautiful, but they they're are too, going bye bye. They're too pretty. Yeah, they're too pretty. Let's go. Let's burn them off. My dad's so excited. He gets so he excited. He can't wait to try. Oh yeah. I hope I can get enough RPM going because it might just just keep pushing me to nothing. Wrap around. Whatever you hit, you hit. <laughs> <laughs> well, last time you seen it, it did not work, right? I mean, it worked, but it was bouncing once you hit high speed. All right, let's go, Bob. I'm actually a little nervous. You're nervous? <laughs> It did not work. It did not. Why did it not? Why did it not work that time? Ah, oh, dang it. Why is he laughing at us? <laughs> why didn't it work just now? Man, we were dialed in. Maybe try it again. You just got to keep it under five thousand. <laughs> <laughs> once it gets, once it gets going too fast, why didn't that just work? Because we have more grip right here. So Let me see. I gotta watch it one more time. It's, it's going. I wonder if the wheels are flexing. That that tire is friggin' flexing. That tri that tire is moving. Man, we are so excited. I don't know whether it's the axles going like this or the. We were so excited like 30 minutes ago when this worked. That rim, it's the rim is friggin' moving. That I want, rim is getting crazy. I wonder if just the wheels are too big and there's too much cut out. So without a doubt, I'm, I'm blown away on how strong these rims actually are. Because when me and Brad set the offset of the wheel, we didn't center it exactly in the center of the wheel. And what happened is our offset is over here. So we're probably 70% on one side, 30% on the other. So when we get this thing up to 7,000 RPM, that inertia on that outside, it, it can't stay round. And we're watching this thing from the side and this thing must have moved. What do you think? Oh, Two God. inches, three inches? I can't even believe these didn't break. So that is a strong wheel. Long story <laughs> short, it's my dad and I's fault. Yeah. <laughs>
fucking gone, dude. Dude, dude, dude. I couldn't see from inside. Oh, you Ow. were gone. Oh, shit. The, it's are freaking you? hot. <laughs> I just melted my hand of the tire. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, so here's what it is. You, the, you didn't have wheel hop at all that time. Oh, that's because I kept it, like Mike said, if we ran this thing up to 7,000 RPM, the outside of that rim, it's too big for it. It can't handle, it can't handle it. Oh my God, that looks sick when you're going. I mean, that was a long smoke Okay, show. so that's why it's, okay, we, it, it's, that's what the deal is right there. So, so here's the deal, I guess. I mean, obviously, I mean, these wheels are friggin'. It's badass. The rims are badass, but insane. we are we have so much higher, and we have 13 inch wide wheels with four of them. And then we crank it up to 7,000 RPM, and stuff. It's it can't handle it. So it's it's pretty man. What a what is just a crazy day, you know? Big ups, big downs. Just trying to figure out what's happening. But uh, I, we have a good understanding, and, and this thing looks wild when it's doing the burnout. I mean, I, I couldn't even see you, and you were behind the truck. It was crazy. So all I know is this has just been a great day, great episode. Uh, it's cool to have uh, people in, in our neighborhood that we can just go to that are uh, very knowledgeable. I mean, Mike, he's an engineer. And uh, I think we ended a great day. We got some, uh, a few things to tweak, a few, few things to figure out. But other than that, thank you guys for watching. Uh, comment below where, where you guys think we should take this bad boy next. Um, once we're 100% dialed in, we're still going to keep going at it and figuring this thing out until it's 100%. But I just feel like it was a successful episode for you guys because we've had so many just like, I feel like everything's been so negative lately. And that was just like a real good positive. So you guys have a blessed day. Thanks for watching. And uh, we'll see you guys next time.